Yes, hello insect lovers. This is a very special video. I translate it from the French original. This is Auguste Conda, the director of the project for the domestication of edible caterpillars in Bakongo, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Here he speaks in the concession of Songon Tila. Kinsumbu is the name of this place and it consists of mainly three hectares of manioc, glatsivori, a space for the feeding of the caterpillars. Augusta explains here that the aim was to show that uh, we can build a farm only for the cultivation of edible insects and we have a special model insect for that and now we made some uh, trials to find out which species is good and which uh, food plant is good and now here is the probably on the whole world the first farm to cultivate edible caterpillars. It's in the middle of the savanna that the people of the Mbinzo project in Kiloeka built this uh, little village of shacks for the cultivation of the caterpillars. Six months they worked on this place, they built a little house for the people who stay here for the feeding of the insects. They sleep also here naturally. It's uh, pretty far out in the savannah, so it must be a place that the people are safe here and can uh, sleep and, yeah, and live here. There are two rooms here for the people, a sleeping room and another room to sit together, speak and relax. And we installed also um, solar, solar cells here. They built a lot of uh, these huts with uh, the total of 12 like beds, long constructions for the cultivation of the caterpillars and this here is a little hut for visitors where you can sit in the shade and talk and speak about the cultivation of edible insects, especially the eating of caterpillars is very well known, it is a very old and a very well known tradition here in the Congo, but in all Africa. So let's um, go into one of these huts and have a look here. This was the first video that we recorded when we uh, were on the way to construct the whole thing, so you here you see the construction, it's a wooden frame with a netting on which the leaves of the foot plant are laid out and then the caterpillars are added. So it's an outdoor, half outdoor production without further protection against insects or uh, birds or anything. And this big hut, they have each of them two of these beds, four meters uh, to two meters wide. And the plan is to cultivate here around 100,000 caterpillars in each uh, generation. That's about six to seven times a year. Here the first of the caterpillars have been brought to the place because today uh, these uh, caterpillars of Sami originally from India are brought out for a trial of a big production process. I brought this uh, insect 2017 to Kiloeko as a model to learn how to uh, rear and breed 
these caterpillars and the success is so big that immediately the people learned it and accepted it, gave it a local name, Sunny Gatta. And today already we are very happy to see that we built already a whole city, a little farm for the production only of this caterpillar. Augustin Condor uh, repeated that 100,000 caterpillars uh, are planned to be cultivated here each generation, so that would be around 5 tons a year. These are a little bit smaller huts for smaller generations or for the smaller stages of the caterpillars. There are a lot of work has been done and you see them, all the constructions are no tech. They are made of local materials like you built here the huts and houses uh, for yourself with the leaf of the palm tree and sticks for the walls and some protection against the wind. Yeah. That's, that's the first farm for edible insect in King Sumbu. Bumbi Masa, that's the place, uh, the name of the exact place here. So this is now two weeks later, 10th of April, April. And I can say it's in the middle of the corona crisis in Europe and out here you realized absolutely nothing. Every day people went to the field because if you don't do that you have nothing to eat. People depend on their daily work out in the fields. So and you see here already that the field is harvested and some of the workers now are arriving with the feed plant for the first caterpillar and Augusta Konda invites us to follow them to see in what uh, stage the caterpillars are now in this first form for edible insects in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's a special um, sort of manioc. Normally the leaves are also eaten, but only the leaves of special types of manioc plants, not of this type. This is manioc uh, glotzi woli, a special plant that does not produce big um, roots, but a lot of leaves. So now you see, two weeks later, Wow, it's full of the big grown-up caterpillars of Samyo Ruizini. Some are already ready for the harvest. They turn a little bit yellowish at the end of their eating phase before they start beginning uh, spinning the cocoon and that's uh, when they are harvested and killed and dried in a special room. Here you see how they are fed. It's more or less the same process as in Asia for the production of Samia Rizzini as a silk producer. But here in Africa, nobody likes to eat the pupas, and people are not that much interested in the silk, but they are interested in the eating of the caterpillar. That's the tradition, the African uh, tradition of eating insects. It's the caterpillar. And these ones are very well accepted in the Bar Congo, immediately people started coming to our uh, courses and workshops and learned it immediately. And now you see already that 
really the production starts and if not only this farm will exist it will soon have copies of this farm around that place. As you can see there are some green and white and um, some types with uh, black dots. That's the mixture of the two different uh, types of Tamiya Ritini from India and Thailand. They eat a lot of food, so every day, a lot of time, they have to come here with freshly cut leaves of these manioc plants to feed them. They should never be without a leaf on uh, their head, because then they stay small, but if you give them enough food, they will be big and up to 5 or 6 grams a piece. So you see immediately if there was done a good work in the cultivation, if they stay small, around 4 grams, you know, there were some times when there was not enough feed for them. And if they are around 6 grams, you know, every time uh, they have something to eat, because that's the job of a caterpillar, to eat, to eat, to eat, and to eat. Ogita talks here about the problem that a lot of the traditionally collected species of these uh, satellite uh, insects were lost because of uh, overharvesting, because of cutting down uh, all the trees and the forests for the production of charcoal. So nowadays a need to produce these kind of insects in an agricultural process. And here is the first time in the world that really it started a production of caterpillars for eating. And this is the first species that we developed this uh, setting for the outdoor or no-tech production of these caterpillars. Of course, uh, one of the aims is also to cultivate and domesticate the local species. Around 40 are known here to be eaten. So now we go out of one of these huts, they are really large and the, the work is very intensive for the people. They also have to go out at night to cut uh, the leaves because in the night you also have to feed them. And also in the second of these long huts, you see it's the same setting, it's the manioc leaves that are eaten by the caterpillars and as soon as they finished one leaf they, they hope that someone places another leaf on top and they can crawl up. But that's also why they never fall down to the ground. And these beds are not fixed to the ground, they are fixed to the ceiling of the huts so that also no uh, ants can uh, enter here this uh, breeding, rearing beds of the cattle pillars. In the box you see that the harvested insects. We have also developed a, a small house, how we can dry the insects, because uh, in the dried form they are well known on the markets. Here in the fresh form and living form like this one here, people eat it in the villages as they pick them fresh in the forests from the plants to eat. But normally if they are big numbers, they collect them to dry them in the ash of a wooden fire. Now that's the normal technique but uh, we will do that in another technique with warm air. So here you see around two kilos of this sunny gutter. And Ogita presents here the team that is working here uh, in this farm. On the right the two ladies, Orfanuel 
and Merve, they are the team of the laboratory. This is in the middle is Christian. He's uh, the, the chief of this uh, equipe, he's an agronome. And a lot of the workers, they come from the villages around and it's the only job they can get uh, here around, let's say, 50 kilometers around is to work as an agricultural worker in one of these equipes of Songon Tilo. There exists practically no other uh, poli uh, possibilities to work, if not on the field where you have your own manioc plantation. And they did really a great job here. It's really uh, something special. But as you can imagine, here out in the savannah, you do, do not have the impression that it's a pioneer work as we have, that know that it's the first farm for the production of edible insects in whole Africa. So every, everybody is really proud. Also, of course, Augusta Konda Kumbuta, the director of this project. Thank you for watching.